Hey guys, this is Eclipse Gaming KSP, and I am back with Epic Replicas, the series in which I attempt to replicate real-life aircraft and rockets. Um, this first aircraft we have here is the A6, and um, it was a real-life strike aircraft, although the only version in service now is the um, EA6, which is the electronic warfare version. Um, yeah, it's got a, uh, let's see, how many missiles? One, two, three, four. Well, I guess four sets of missiles, eight missiles total. This plane was suggested by Gavin Grawl. Um, so, yeah, thank you for that. I had a lot of fun making this. It has something over 170 parts. And most of those are in the um, advanced Kraken fire missiles, which I'll show you later. But anyway, yeah, we're off the ground. Nice short takeoff there. This plane's really easy to fly, unlike the A-10 that was in my previous video of Epic Replicas. So yeah, this thing flies really, pretty well. We had a lot of fun making this, so yeah, thanks Gavin, you're great. Um, let's see, what else should we do here? I mean, there's not much. It's pretty maneuverable. I mean, it's not great maneuverability, but it's pretty maneuverable. Notice how I used the wing surfaces there to make the intakes and stuff. I've been doing that a lot recently, just to, because wing surfaces generally look a lot better than the structural plates. Let's see, those are the bit missiles. Those are the smallest missiles. Only. Okay, that failed. Wait till we get here, then we'll use the crack and fire missiles. That's why it's called Kraken Fire. If used correctly, they can be really devastating. Um, let's see here. Now we're going to use the Heat 2 missiles. Um, let's see here. Go ahead and uh, start off the engine. Perfect. Now we have to pitch this aircraft off so it doesn't hit the ground. Good. Here we go. I'm gonna try and hit the research and development place over there. Because they have all kinds of valuable research that I don't want done. Just kidding. This is my space and ours is just a test. Um see so yeah, I guess it's pretty fast, and then boom. And then our aircraft is still flying above. See so use the bit missiles there. This is a new aircraft by the way. I restarted the flight. Oh crap, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh. <laughs> wow, okay. See, the bit missiles can be stacked too high. There's the second pair of bit missiles. Alright, like, get ready for the cracking fires. These things are amazing. What did I tell you? Look at that. Fabulous. Of course, they're really short range. You have to be practically on top of the target for them to work. But they're really devastating. There's still random stuff exploding all around me. Okay. Go ahead and start off the engine. Thank you. I'm gonna hit the VAB over here. Boom. So, yeah. See here. Go ahead and um, make an insane tactical landing here. Prepare to line up with the runway, like half a kilometer away. <laughs> All right, we are turning. I have no clue where those glide slope indicators came from, but I'm obviously ignoring them right now. I actually use them sometimes. I just thought they added a nice touch to the game. I don't know where they came from though. Let's go ahead and uh, get the plane landed. Oops. I hit an engine. Crap, now the airplane's pulling to the left. What caused that to happen? Oh well. Let's go ahead and break. Oops. Well anyway, our next aircraft will be the F-14. 
which was a lot of fun to replicate. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the montage of how I built it at 16 times. It took like two hours to build. So yeah, see you in the space plane hangar. Okay, I am back, and here's the finished product. This is the F-14, and, um, yeah. Go ahead and lock the wings in place, action group 9, as soon as the wing flopping subsides. That's how I do it anyway. Um, and go ahead and throttle up the engines in back, and... It takes a while to reach takeoff velocity. A lot of my planes take off pretty soon. This one does not. But, um, this one... Okay, we're off the ground. This is, like, much heavier than most of the other planes. Because of a certain mechanism that I've included. 
That's what happens when we unlock the wings. Let's go ahead and lock them again, though. Okay. So anyway, yeah, here we go. Let's go ahead and unlock the wings. And get ready to see the amazing mechanism. Check that out. Swing wings just like the real F-14. cool. Pretty cool. So yeah, let's go ahead and um, come over here, um, do a missile attack or something. These wings are really floppy. If you have an idea of how to like cure the floppiness of the wings, please tell me, because I really need that. Um, other than adding struts, of course. I don't want to use struts because, um, those are swing wings. So, uh, yeah, those are the bit missiles. And then here's the Heat 2 missile. And boom! Okay, we're taking off again now. I'm just kind of like pulling over this way. This is one of the most complicated aircraft I have ever built. It's got something over 200 parts. Look at that. Wings back. Um, it's kind of headed towards the mountains there. Oops. Um, what just... I just blew the plane up. I have no clue what I did. Um, let's throttle up, see if we can get out of this. If this plane has so much wing surface in the middle, I think we might be able to get it home. Um, even though we've lost an entire wing. Um, things exploding over there. Um, uh, yeah, that did not go quite as planned. Pulling up again. Um. Okay, we are gaining altitude, even though we have lost a wing. A few of you are wondering why I put a little RCS tank in the wing. It's because otherwise, um, the wings flop around even more, and with those there, at least they don't flop as much. So anyway, yeah, we're going to come in for a landing here. See the glide slope indicator there telling us that we are doing stuff right, finally. Or not. I take that back. Let's cut the engine, get the nose down some. Line it up with the runway. Okay, pull up slightly. There's a little bit of glitchiness going on there in the left. Uh, we only have two out of the three landing gears, so this had better be good. Um, pull up, pull up. We're going down really fast. Oh, crap, crap. Oh, okay. Where we were living. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, and. We lived. Wow, I thought he was gonna die. We lived. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, let's, um, take off here. And, okay, well, oops. Well, that didn't go as planned either, did it? And. Uh. Look how the swing wings came out. They're like symmetrical now. Oh, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Oh, wow. Aaron Tank saved me. That's cool. Look, it's just like tumbling along, exploding behind me. Okay, let's do some more stuff real now. Let's do a low pass between some buildings. pull up. It's not the most maneuverable plane on the earth, but who cares? It's got swing wings. Freaking swing wings of Kerbal Space Program. I figured out how to do this in my previous video, do swing wings in Kerbal Space Program. It works remarkably well. It's just a little trick with landing gear, that's all. Okay. 
Gonna like straight up here. Okay. Just playing with swing wings. Let's lock the in, in the forward position. And then let's lock them in the back position. Yeah, there you go. Looks pretty well. Alright, let's come in for a landing here. This plane is really cool. It's really fun to fly. I suggest you download it off the Dropbox um, thing, which I will provide in the description. Alright, the landing gear are down. Normally this time, not missing to one of them. Um, you can see the tail fins there I borrowed from a different replica I made, which I have not shown you yet. That might be in the next video. Um, yep, glide slope indicator telling us that we might be doing something right. Okay, I have the glide slope set to uh, 6 degrees instead of 3 degrees because I hate landing at 3 degrees, it takes too long. Oops, we're going too high, we're too high up. Who cares? Um, we're just going to land on the little markers up here, that's all. Perfect. Alright, break. Alright, break, 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 break. Okay. Okay, I guess this concludes this episode of Epic Replicas. Please remember to submit a request on the link which I will provide in the description. Uh, you will do a great favor to the channel by liking and subscribing. Please do that. I've been Eclipse Gaming KSP, and until next time, explode responsibly.